Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Atari Vault. Next up, as you can tell, is Lunar Lander. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I've compared one of these games to Lunar Lander. Was it Gravatar? It was probably Gravatar. It was like two episodes ago. So let's look at the gallery here and see what we got. Um, that's a weird shot, right? <laughs> that arcade cabinet looks like it's seen some times, man. I mean, not nearly as bad as some of the ones I've seen in some arcades, but that is not necessarily a pretty picture. Also, what the hell is up with that control scheme? Okay, can we talk about that for a minute? The lever, I guess that's how you do the thrust. That's how you like maintain thrust. So I guess for us, the analog would be like, I don't know what the analog would be like. Maybe like the right stick or left stick? One of the sticks, okay. And the buttons, I have no idea what's going on with any of these buttons. Do they actually have like two player? I am so, so confused with this layout. Okay, next one. All right, the promo material, that's fair. I usually have that. Uh, these are the um, detailed instructions, huh? Okay, so I'll go in here. Not necessarily instructions, but hold up, hold up. Oh, four player selectable missions. Okay, see, f there's no dash between four and player. <laughs> Just so you know, there's four missions that are player selectable. Not four players can select missions. That's ridiculous. So, okay, just so we're clear. Another Atari first. Yeah, that's fair. All right, and as skill increases, more difficult missions can be player programmed. Player programmed? To keep Lunar Lander a constant challenge. They actually had like a level editor? You shitting me? Okay. Close-up landing action. Basically, it zooms in as you get closer to the ground, I bet. Okay. Score multiplier landing sites for bonus points. Dude, there is so much Lunar Lander, I don't even remember. So you can land anywhere, but if you land on the landing sites, you get bonus points? Is that right? Let's look down at this. Okay, so if this spacecraft is not landed precisely level, the spacecraft will crash and explode sending debris flying into outer space. Okay, so as long as you land level, you're good. But if you land on one of the landing pads, even better. But look at the look at the rocky layout here. Why wouldn't you land on a landing pad? It's the only freaking flat surface there. Okay. Oh, that's pretty neat. I like that one. Okay, and that's the side of the console. I have no idea what the hell the satellite has to do with landing. Because it's lunar lander, not satellite lander. Hello. And then we're back to this. Okay. Um, let's look at options here and make sure we're not going to do anything too crazy. Let's knock all these down a little bit. There we go. I know the music's been really loud. It's a neat music. I like it. It is a bit repetitive, I have to admit. But, you know, it's not too bad. Look at the controls here. So when player starts, same as it always is. Mode select is actually left button. That's weird but okay and then the left trigger is thrust that's also weird okay so my left hand is going to be really busy i guess my right hand is just going to hold the controller all right we can do that i suppose i should be looking at the controls every single time huh that'd probably be a good idea this might have actually saved me a little bit of a few lives so we'll go ahead and dive in here because what the hell it's lunar lander it's a classic Light gravity, friction from atmosphere, controlled rotation. Okay. Oh, that's right. You only have fuel unit. You only have a specified number of fuel units. Okay. So, like, thrust? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's try to get the two times multiplier because I don't want to be crazy here. Don't run out of fuel. Okay, just let gravity do most of the work. I mean, mostly we just want to get down to this two times multiplier area. Okay, now we're moving too far over that way. Okay, move in. We're good, I think. Try to slow our descent a little bit by going like this. There you go. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I'm going to hit that two point. Oh, uh, do you get bonuses for how much fuel you use? Because if so, I'm going to totally lose that bonus. Um, have I mentioned I'm really bad at this game? Because that should be immediately obvious to anyone who's, you know, breathing. Uh, okay, hold on. That that scared me a little bit when it changed, but I think we're good. We are perfectly level. We're moving a little too fast. We're good. Oh, come on! 
there were no survivors. I was just going too fast. It was 40 whatever the hell units that is. Because like 40 kph probably. Okay. So, okay, so it's like dynamic levels every time. Are you shitting me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have less fuel now. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I'm back to the amount of fuel I had at the end of my last life. So that's a problem. Like a serious problem. I don't know if I can do this, man. 150 fuel. We're moving a little too fast here. Okay, we just need to, like, do something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, man. I'm too close. I'm too close. I'm too close. Yeah, I know I'm low fuel. I know I'm low. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need to... Am I ever going to land? I have no idea. Okay, let's try this again. So there's an option we can select. How do we... Oh, that's right. We do a uh, left button. Cadet mission. Prime. Okay, we're... No, no, no. We're doing training. Because I suck. Okay, let's just be clear on that. I suck. This is what we're going to do. Okay, so apparently you get like two lives. I don't know why you would do that because it basically screws you. But that's what you get. You get two lives. All right. So, um, you know what? No. We're going to stop our um, vertical speed here, but keep our horizontal. Um, at least stop it as much as possible. We're going to run low on fuel, though. Okay, just push over like this way a little bit. Dude, what the? Oh, you know what? There's a wind, isn't there? Okay, well, then I'm going to have to land on this thing. I don't want to do it. Oh. Dude, 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 dude. No! You just destroyed a 100 megabit lander. <laughs> Five points. Five fucking points. Five fucking points. That's exactly what it is. It's five fucking points, because fuck you, sir. That's what they're saying. Horizontal speed's going way down. Oh, you know what? It's the air, it's the air friction, huh? I don't have enough speed to actually get over there. All right, um, air friction's being a bitch right now. Can we talk about that? Um, no way I'm landing on that. That's crazy talk, sir. But I might be able to land on the next one if I, like... Okay, this is going to be tight, and I don't mean in a good way. Okay, what we need to do is, like, gradually, gradually move here. I can't believe they give me the same amount of fuel, and I don't even know where the next landing site is, but, but because I'm close to the ground... You know what? Fuck it. Next uh, next free space. Yeah, right there. There's, there's good. So we need to do... Oh, right here. Right here is good, too. Okay, what we need to do is, like, reduce our vertical speed to, like, zero. Is that what we're going for? Because that's crazy if that's what we want to do. Oh, come on. Oh! Oh! Great landing! It says... Okay, so not zero any of them, necessarily. Are you shitting me? We have the same amount of fuel... What the hell, man? That doesn't make any sense at all. Any sense, like remotely. How does that make any sense to anybody ever? Why would these landers have the same amount of fuel? You're not sharing a fuel tank like cross-dimensionally, and if you are, why the hell aren't you using that technology to, you know, I don't know, transport things not using a fucking Luna lander? It doesn't make any sense. We might be able to pull this off, but it's going to be... No, it's not going to work. Oh, no, it might. It might. We're going to land perfectly. Oh, fuck yes. Ingle has landed 200 points. Okay. Um, this is bullshit. There's no way. There's no way. I don't get it. Um, so, I have problems with this on, like, a theological level. Because there's no way. I might, might, might be able to do nothing here and still land. We're going to land on the... Uh, we're not going to land on the peak. I thought we were going to land on the peak. That's not going to happen. Never mind. Uh, no, we're fucked. We are totally fucked. Um, thank you guys for serving, but there's no way in hell this is going to work. Um, I don't have enough fuel for one. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. Auxiliary fuel tanks lost. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't have any auxiliary fuel. You are out of your mind, sir. I'm going to do it again. Um, we're going to try to do something crazy. Crazy like a fox. Um, that's totally not a thing that I can do. Also, why are foxes regarded as crazy intelligent? 
because they don't seem that smart to me. But maybe I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know enough foxes. But, I mean, I don't know any of them personally. Foxes are wild animals. Though, did you know that they're actually trying to breed like a domestic version of a fox? I have no idea why. I guess people enough people want them as a pet that they figure it would be a beneficial business model. I have no idea. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? No. Nope. 23 units. Okay, so I got it below 10, and we were fine. Maybe all we need is to get it below, like, 20 and be good? Also, what is it with pushing... Okay, so it does increase the difficulty level in that it makes you have to go farther. So we can just go, like, straight up. Okay, so I can't move the lander any more... Um, I can't rotate it anymore. That's what I wanted to say there. So you can land it anywhere. You just, whether or not you get a bonus. And this is going to suck because I only have 338 left. Um, next flat spot, dude. Uh, next flat spot that's in my way, really, is what it comes down to. Or that I just managed to drift over to it. Now, the thing is, horizontal speed, oh, that was way too fast. I could have been slowing down the whole way. And only 52 fuel because that's going to happen. Yeah, because that's realistic. So if I don't move at all, where do I go? Probably before the peak, I'd have to guess. And can we just talk about this low on fuel warning being, like, totally annoying? Because it is. It's really super annoying. Um, What are we going to do about this? I think we just die? I think that's what we do. I think we're like the aliens in, um, in Last Starfighter, and uh, we just die. Yeah, because I think um, we are totally boned. Things also what they totally see. Yeah, we're out of fuel. Yeah. Well, you know, if you gave me the proper amount of fuel. Okay, so that means I have to budget it, right? But they're just going to keep giving me more lies. There's no there's no benefit to... Well, I guess their benefit to budgeting it is if I can... I don't know, do shit, man. I don't know. Okay, so I thought the level changed every time. No, no, I'm just totally crazy. What actually happens is that the... Um, the bonus markers move around but that's it it's still the same level unless i'm totally missing something okay so what we do here is we reduce our horizontal speed as much as we can and that should break basically bring us right on top of this and now we just need to reduce our vertical speed like a lot <laughs> huge amounts enormous amounts oh we're still gonna crash aren't we yep Okay, so I need to get it below 10. Is that what it is? Or maybe it wasn't perfectly land... It wasn't perfectly even, huh? Okay, well, now we're just boned. The amount of vertical speed that we had, even if we had managed to aim that perfectly with horizontal speed, how would we have done that? Okay, let's try to get into an area here. We are bleeding a lot of... Yeah, okay, now we're moving too far that way. But still, it's below 10. I'm going to call it good. So now we need to reduce our vertical speed because we are falling like a freaking brick. A brick of doom. Okay. I don't want to do this too much. We are slowly decreasing, but the trouble is 9.8 meters per second per second, dude. It's not pretty. Um, we're going to we're hosed. I wanted to be above 300 to be able to do this, but I don't think it's going to work. And we need to be perfectly level or just plain not going to work. Now, fortunately, NASA doesn't have these kind of restrictions. I mean, there's no way any of their landers are um, huge enough that this is actually a concern. Oh, we're fucked. No! You landed hard, your trip is one way. Okay. I mean, I somehow, I don't know how that worked, but it worked. So let's see if we can get over this mountain. Maybe the higher up we are... Um, no, no, never mind. I thought maybe the higher up we were, the less atmospheric restriction there would be. That is way too advanced of a model for this to work. Um, it's not going to happen. Uh, we are boned. Uh, attention, Houston. We appear to be boned. That would have been a message for Apollo 13 right there. Houston, we appear to be boned. That almost sounds like Kirk, really. That's a bad Kirk impression right there. Okay, we're going to try to decrease vert vertical speed here. As well as horizontal speed, because we are like a bat out of freaking hell. And we're going to use Apollo our fuel to do it. It's going to happen. Um, I hope you're ready for that. Yeah, I know low on fuel. It, it doesn't matter. We're, we're doomed anyway. It's a one-way trip. We're here to establish a colony 
and by gum, that means we're not going to leave. You know what they used to do, um, which is pretty crazy. I didn't realize this was actually a thing. But they used to actually, like, um, the people in the Wild West, or the people going to the Wild West, oh, we were so freaking close. There's no way we created a two-mile crater going only 33, whatever the hell units those are. Um, but the people in the Wild West used to actually, like, disassemble their wagons because it had a bunch of useful shit, right? I mean, the wood is really useful for some stuff. So they used to actually disassemble their wagons um, to the point where they were unusable. And the idea was that, well, okay, we've totally committed to, you know, living here. Let's not fuck up, <laughs> you know? But, of course, then, you know, a lot of things did fuck up, and that was a problem. And really, I think that's going to be a problem for um, for any settlers or any potential colonists for strange and wonderful worlds. Especially, like, even if it's like the moon or Mars, man. It may seem pretty close, but they're, they're fucking not, man. They're not close at all. So, they're hosed. I mean, if they have any trouble at all, we're going to land. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. How did I get 20 points for that? It doesn't make any sense at all. But yeah, I think any future colonists are doomed? I don't want to say doomed. I think the first batch, maybe the second batch of colonists are doomed. Because it's shit we've never done before, man. I mean, even if we just establish a colony on the moon, okay? The moon still takes three days to get to. Three fucking days. Um, It might, with a modern engine, like NASA just tested an engine like last month that puts out some crazy amounts of force. So it might be possible to do it in maybe, maybe two days. Oh, we might be able to pull this off, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on. No, the thing is we have to be perfectly level and all our struts have to be touching. Yeah. And now we're just, we have four fuel. Now we're just gonna crash. I mean, I can pretend. Okay, it's gone, we're out of fuel. We just got rid of the annoying buzz, but now we're just boned. <laughs> Okay, and at least it realized that. It realized you were boned. There's no way this is going to work. I appreciate that game. Okay, but anyway, yeah, there might be might be a way to get it there. Uh, get, like, supplies or something there in, like, two days. It's okay. That's at least better. I mean, the colonists for the New World, or even, like, the Wild West, if they sound out some kind of distress signal, I don't know what the hell people in the New World could send out. But let's just assume that they had some mean of distress signal of, like, instant communication. Okay, now we're just totally in fantasy land. But, but run with me here. Even if they had totally instant communication to let the people at home know um, we're boned, help, it would take, what was it? It was, like, three months to cross the ocean. It not like three months to cross the Atlantic going by sail. In which case, you know, you're already dead. There's no help that can be given. Really, the most you can do is say, um, don't repeat our mistakes, please. That's it. That's all you can do. So, imagine, like, all oh, that fucking work. I can't believe that worked. We landed hard, though. So, we go over 20 vertical speed. We land hard. Under 10 is a great landing. Okay, good to know. But, yeah, so, like, imagine Mars. It takes three months to go to Mars. They sound a distress call, which is light speed. So, you know, we'll get it in... Seven minutes away? Is that how far Mars is by light speed? That sounds right. Seven minutes sounds right. So let's go with seven minutes. It might be as low as five, but we'll go with seven. So, okay, seven minutes. So it's basically instant, right? Same day, you know, same hour even, so that's good. But then they send a message saying, um, we're fucked. What do we do? Like, a uh, storm blew away all of our stuff. What do we do? Um, well, you're boned. <laughs> I mean, we can maybe possibly since i mean that's basically what the movie the martian's all about right is that basically they get a message from an astronaut going um i'm boned please help and then he has to science his way out of that shit because he's it that's it man there's nowhere else you can go and that's what i worry is going to happen to the first batch of colonists that go to mars is it's like well um we're boned so as we are, in fact, totally boned, we can at least do a post-action report and at least tell you, you know, how we fucked up. <laughs> so don't do our mistakes. That's it. That's all I can say. Don't repeat our mistakes, please. And then they die. 
Oh, uh, this is a bad place to land. I don't know why I keep insisting I want to land here. You are hopelessly marooned. <laughs> With only 68 fuel, that is not surprising. There's no way. There's no way doing this on 68. So let's just abort. 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 Oh, to abort, we have to basically run out of all our fuel. Now, for people on Mars... Um, or pe Sorry, for people on the moon, if they run into a problem, we're going to stop doing that freaking landing spot there, because that's bad. It keeps wanting to default us there. That's a bad place for us. We don't want to do that. Uh, people on the moon, they have instant communication. They can say, okay, um, we had a huge pressure problem. I don't know. All of our atmosphere is gone. Help. We can be in... Um, we can be in pressure suits for, like, you know, X amount of time. I don't know what X is. That's the problem. Um, I don't know what X is. What X would be X in that situation? Oh, we're fucked. Yeah. Also, the fuel penalty for losing a lander is kind of bullshit, but I'll go with it. Um, yeah, so let's say they have a pressure problem. They're all in suits. You know, the whole colony is in suits. Because if you don't have enough suits for the entire colony, what kind of Titanic shit are you up to right now? And I mean Titanic shit as in, like, the actual fucking Titanic, which didn't have enough lifeboats, okay? We're not talking about that kind of bullshit, okay? We're talking about, like, a well-planned emergency situation where it's like, okay, you know what? We lost two people because we lost pressure, but the rest of us were able to get in suits in time, and we have suits for everybody. Suits are not a problem. Oxygen isn't even really that big of a problem because we have oxygen for, like, well, see, and that's where it gets tricky. That's where the math comes in because it's like, okay, well, you have oxygen for, like, how long? Because it's going to take a while for us to mount a rescue op. Now, granted, if we're putting fucking colonies on the moon, we better have, like, shuttles going out every day maybe not every day maybe every other day but often enough so that if we need to pull one together we can do it okay now we're gonna are we actually gonna be under 10 oh just barely just barely but it worked uh do we have enough fuel to land another one i think we do where are we gonna land we're gonna land like right fucking here we can decrease our horizontal speed like instantly we might be in a decent spot to be in like that valley I want to do there yeah yeah so I mean the trouble is they're talking about doing a lunar colony in like the next what was it 10 years there's some crazy program that wants to do a, a colony on Mars in like the next 10 years and I'm going dude I love your ambition but you're fucked you realize right I mean I'm all for it and I was really tempted to sign up and see if I could go. But then I started thinking about it. And I'm like, well, you know, I mean, I want to live forever. That's kind of my game plan. And I'm not going to do that if I go to Mars. At least not for the first batch. I go to Mars in the first batch, probably going to be hosed. And not only that, I'm not sure I have any, you know, the, you know, requisite. Um, yeah, Eagle has on it. There you go. Any of the requisite, like, skills to be useful. I might just be the guy who dies on Mars. <laughs> that might be it. And, you know, that's an interesting legacy, but um, I'd rather do a more thoughtfully planned out one. And I wonder if there are other people who were like me. We're just going to die here, so let's just be honest. Oh, you use up fuel when you turn? Oh, that is such bullshit. I mean, it makes sense, but it's also bullshit. Okay, we'll just decrease this because we're going to die anyway. What the hell? At least we're static. We landed in the middle of the air. Congratulations. I probably could have landed another one then, huh? Yeah, that could have happened. Yeah, but I, I begin to wonder if I'm maybe, you know, if maybe that's like a trait that existed back in every era, maybe. You know, maybe there's just an, a certain subset of people who say, you know what? The Wild West sounds like a cool place. You know, free land. As soon as you settle it, it's yours. That sounds great. Um, but the trouble is, and I keep going for this five point multiplier, don't I? Oh, fuck it. Let's try to increase our score. You know, sounds great. I kind of want to do it, but you know, I'm afraid I'm going to just die horribly. So tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to wait until there's actually like established places and you know, like taverns and brothels and whatnot, and then I'll go. Or like the people from the new world are like, you know, I hear the new world's great, you know, free land, get set up. Oh, yeah, okay, that's just never going to happen. 
you know, I hear the, the Native Americans are pretty cool. That's totally not what they called them, but we'll go with it. You know, the Native Americans were cool. Um, they're very helpful. And, of course, this is the guy who's t- totally buying into the bullshit, right? It's like, oh, yeah, you know, land of opportunity. You know, streets are paved with gold. By the way, there's gold in every, you know, every corner of it. To, yeah, exactly. That time, bullshit. You know, never mind there are no actual streets because, you know, the place is brand fucking new. But, you know, close enough. Um, but, yeah, you know, and then realize, you know, thinking about it, there's a good chance we could just die. I'm not only that, but, um, I mean, there would have been stories at that point, right? Of just places you never hear from again. And it's like, well, you know, I'm in England. I never hear from Spain most of the time. So, I mean, they're closer. So what do I know? Oh, this is where we're going to die. Oh, we didn't die. We somehow didn't die. We can actually land at 31 vertical speed. I thought for sure we were toast. Uh, we might be toast here. We can try it. We going to hit any of the multipliers? Um, no, there's no way we're getting over the mountain. There is just no way. I'm kind of curious if we don't move, what happens? Where do we go? Um, it looks like we're going to land. We're not going to land anywhere. It's going to land us right on the fucking mountain. You know what I appreciate, game, is if you gave me varied terrain. I think redoing this game... Oh, this is going to suck. Ah. <laughs> Not going to happen, boyo. We might be able to do one more landing here. Um, yeah, I would appreciate this gamer's remade and gave me varied terrain. Also, make it so that I can land on a slope. Just a little bit of a slope. Doesn't have to be a big slope. Oh, we're so boned. We're so boned. We might be okay. We might be okay. We might not be boned. Oh, communication system destroyed. So you're just marooned forever. Um, we only have 55 points there. But it does not let us have a high score, has it? No, not possibly not. Okay, we'll do one more because it's a little fun. It's fun. Uh, but I'd really appreciate like more varied terrain in this. Um, and I think... See, and I remember the game having varied terrain. I don't remember it being always the same static landscape. I mean, it shows off in the starting scroll... It shows off like all this stuff where, you know, you can go on forever. But that's totally not what this is. And you know what? Let's actually, I mean, once we land, which is going to take a while, uh, can we actually land like right here? It's not going to give us a bonus. Uh, we might be fucked. No, no, no. We might be okay. We might be okay. Uh, we might be fucked. I wonder if that's what it's like, you know. Oh, no, we're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Yep, I didn't land perfectly. I want to try one of the other missions and see if the landscape changes. Because that's what I remember. But I don't know if it's actually true. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll stop our horizontal speed. Basically. Okay, under 5 is... Yeah, 5 is good. We'll stop at 5. Um, I think that's going to land us in the valley. I might have actually hit the brakes a little too hard there. Um, yeah, I did. Okay, so we need to adjust a little bit more. Of course, a horizontal speed of 21 is a problem. But only as we get closer. So what we should do is just slow the fuck down. Slow down. Slow as you go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. We good? We good? Horizontal speed is zero. So assuming we line this up, we're just good. I think we might have lined it up. Holy fuck, we eyeballed it. That's what they used to have to do in the, in the badass days. Badass days of space travel. Uh, we might be fucked. Oh, Columbia has landed. Fuck yeah. Uh, there's no way we're going to be able to land with 175, is there? We could try it? Okay, slow down your horizontal speed. As you slow down your horizontal speed, your vertical speed is going to increase. Because that's just physics, yo. Um, physics, yo. Did I actually just say that? I did just say that. It's on recording and everything. Well, um... I can only say that I'm embarrassed for uh, myself and my country. I don't know why my country went into it there. I guess because I blame my country for my education. And my education taught me that yo is okay. Now, granted, you could say that wasn't taught in schools. But I gotta tell you, it kind of was. I mean, you don't get all your education in the classroom. You know what I'm saying? You get most of your education, like, from your friends determining you know what's okay to say and what isn't 
Oh, uh, we might be totally boned here. There's no way we can drop our vertical speed enough. Well, um, this is Major Tom to ground control. Fuck you. I think that's fair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's try another option just for just the last one. We'll go crazy. Um, no friction, but strong gravity. Um, rotational momentum. That sounds crazy. Oh, you know what? We do light gravity. Let's do light gravity. That sounds crazy. Okay. Um, still the same fucking layout. Can we talk about that? Still the same layout. Um, I don't know why you want me to do that there. That's that's not helpful. Can that go away, please? That is apparently an overlay. Oh, we have rotational momentum, yo. Oh, we're fucked. We're so fucked. Help. 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 We're dead. We're dead. Rotational momentum has been the death of me. Help. I can't. I can't slow down in time. No, we just... Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that was horrible. That was awful. <laughs> all I did was rotate. That's all I... Okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. I can't stop myself from turning can't stop myself from loving you is apparently how that goes um okay hold up hold the fuck up though i can't rotational momentum is my is making me his bitch rotational momentum help i can't i can't stop i can't stop help 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 i'm dead i'm dead i'm so dead i'm so dead ah goodbye world wow um the rotational momentum on that is bull and shit at the same time because all I did was tap it once there. And you see that? Now I'm rotating all the way around. So if I tap it once the other way. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. That's kind of where I want to be. Just don't make me your bitch, please. Um, oh, man. Braking is so difficult. I thought this was light gravity. I guess the problem with light gravity is there's also less air. And we're fucked. We're fucked. There's no way we're landing in this in the proper place now. Oh, fuck. Um, nope. Nope. We're dead. We're dead. Goodbye, world. Wow. Wow, that was, um, a lot harder than it really should have been. Alright, so, um, yeah. That was, um, that was a thing. So that was Lunar Lander. Let me get out of this. Get, get out, please. I like to leave this game forever. Thank you. Alright, so that was Lunar Lander. I'm sorry I'm shit at it, but you do better. Those controls were freaking weird. Anyway, the Lunar Lander, uh, this is Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.